So you, how's, how's the workout? Uh, I think it went well. You know, coming here second time, and, uh, you know, definitely uh, good. And uh, that's my 60th workout. So. so you said this was your second workout? Yeah. Okay. What uh, What did you do today, and what did you do the first go around? Uh, I mean, I think they know pretty well what I do, and like what I can do, what I cannot do. So, uh, you no, know, just show them a good player, a good team, and then come here the energy. Were the drills different from first to second? Uh, you know, everybody doing pretty the same stuff, all the team, I would say. So. Um, you said you kind of modeled the game after Clay in a lot of ways. How has he been kind of an inspiration for you, and how have you modeled your game after him? Uh, he's a great player. He's an all-star, and uh, you know, I think we're just a uh, similar size, similar height, uh, play kind of similar way, shoot the ball, I think, kind of well. I mean, he definitely should way better than me, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, to go to the next level. Uh, just trying to be like him so I can uh, make my teammates better and uh, make an impact for the team. Do you watch him a lot? Do you, do you? Uh, yeah, all the time, and uh, you know, just uh, seeing what he's doing in the quarter, how he uh, how he adjusted to a game, and how he uses strengths and weaknesses. You notice what how he excels in catch and shoot game. Say it again. What, what do you notice as far as how he excels in the catch well, and shoot game? Uh, I think he has a great feet work. That's in the main thing, and him coming up the uh, pin downs, uh, uh, you know, wide open shots. Uh, I think he he doing a great job, and uh, he's uh, just his ability to shoot the ball, make him a really good threat, and uh, you know, people close out him is kind of hard, and sometimes like he has a uh, pretty good handles. He got to go all the way to who people close out him hard. What's your earliest memories of? getting involved in basketball. I mean, when did you realize you liked to play the game? Uh, I would say like second grade. That's where I started playing basketball. They just kept going with it. And what did you like about it? Though? I mean, do you play other sports too? Like yeah, I play soccer, soccer ping right. pong, volleyball, play everything. But uh, you know, it's a sport where I really started going to workouts, like literally not on amateur level, but like just actually going, have coach and mm -hmm. all that stuff. So it got, got to me. Were you always tall for your age? Yeah. Okay, so that probably people pushed yeah. you toward basketball yeah, a little probably. bit? Yeah, probably. Yeah. So you played some center probably at some point? Uh, no. You never played center even when you were like 12, no. 13? Never. You were always ball handling? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you've been saying that like you want to show teams like you're more than just a shooter. Mm -hmm. How have you seen other parts of your game develop these last few years? Uh, I think it developed very good because, uh, you know, in the Kansas the last two years I had to take more responsibility for a team and for myself, and I had to do, uh, had to start doing a lot more than just shoot the ball. I started handling on the ball screens, and uh, I just do it more than just shoot the ball. So Draymond is over there watching the guys. Did he say anything during the whole workout? Uh, no, he was just watching it. <laughs> <laughs> Any extra pressure there? Any what? Any extra pressure for you? Uh, like not really. Like I mean, he just, uh, you know, wanted him the guys to watch the workout. How much? Have you watched the NBA game over the past four or five years, though? Uh, every, I mean, every time it's on TV, yeah, oh, really? every time I come after school, after we practice with mm -hmm. TV, I just come home and try to find whatever's on TV. And, uh, you know, most of the times during the season, uh, it's the NBA game, so probably almost every day. You started watching when you were young, too, or? Uh, it, I wasn't really, I was watching Euro League, so mm -hmm. not really NBA style, mm -hmm. but when I got here, so. I mean, I used to watch a lot like NBA when mm -hmm. it was on TV, but it's not that popular. So everybody watches your league basketball. Right. Yeah. Now, with the Warriors kind of fitting your skill set, is that a team that you watch? Maybe being a fan of them, like, yo, maybe one day I would want to be on this kind of team because they fit my skill set. Uh, definitely, it would be an honor to play for these team. You know, uh, NBA chance one of the best teams, best team in the NBA right now, and uh, as a great player, so it would be a great honor for me to be part of the team. But did you did you kind of watch them like? I guess, you know, as a fan in that way because they, they uh, were you a fan because of the way that they played during the season? Uh, you know, I just like watch basketball and yeah. uh, I'm just, I, I just try to root for a good basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of their recent success with drafting guys late in the first round, second round, and developing them overall? Uh, they do a great job, you know, last year with Jordan Bell and he definitely helped the team this year, so. I think they know what they're doing. I think they know what players fit in their team the best. And I think they know what they, who they picking. Yeah. How do you think that it could apply to you? I mean, if, if they wind up picking you, just as far as 
knowing what you can bring to a championship team? Uh, say it again for Like, how do you think it could apply to yourself just knowing, like, they have this championship mm -hmm. team, right, but the idea that it, you'd be someone that they'd develop and invest uh, in you an would be great. You know, it would be great just uh, to be a part of a team and, uh, you know, just try to bring anything a coach wanted to bring on the table. And, you know, this team is full of superstars, full of all-stars, so... It's not, it's not a lot I can can bring that other guys have, so he'd really just uh, be a great teammate, bring energy on the court, and just uh, try hard every time. What are the parts of your game that you think you need to work on the most? I just try to work the all around the game, just trying to become more better all around player, and uh, like I was saying before, that uh, try to put everybody else up, not, not just shooter. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's the part that people look at you and say he can shoot, he's a shooter, but yeah. like defensively, rebounding, other side. Oh, yeah, like for that. sure. Definitely, uh, for me, a uh, sub 6 8 guard is uh, pretty versatile. Okay, I play 1 through 4 in defensive end, and uh, you know, just trying to uh, read defense, trying to get better mm -hmm. defensive end, and uh, you know, know what other guys do, kind of scouting report, just studying. It's become kind of like, yeah, studying more, watching film and stuff. Have you gotten a read of, you know, from teams or just your agent, like, where they're projecting you, where where you think you'll fall? Uh, you know, knowing the draft, yeah. you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, you know, people might be projecting you know, 15, they might go 30, so you never know. So yeah. you really never know. W which other teams did you work out with? Uh, 16 teams, man. Literally, almost okay. everybody. <laughs> okay, wow. yeah. gotcha. 16, you said? Yeah. How are you holding up with all that? It's a lot of workouts. <laughs> yeah, man, got to travel. Got to travel a lot, man. You you know, see the just, country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Us too. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you.